M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're looking at WinLink Global Radio Email and the virtual modem called VARA HF made by EA5HVK. So let's run these programs. So just go to EA5, I'll put the link in the description here. Click the VARA and you will end up with this program here, which is your virtual modem. This is what you're going to see. Go to settings and go to VARA setup. Now this I haven't changed, but you can add a registration key if you've purchased one. Otherwise, I just went to sound card and I've got the ICOM 705 connected to the radio, to the computer, as you can see. You do need to make sure you've got a driver. Go to your COM port, which is here and just make sure you've got the latest drivers for your ICOM 705. The radio is in USB data mode, and I've held my finger on the screen so we can see all the meters, because you do need to set up the ALC. Right, okay, I'll, I'm, I'm planning on having a go with the 710 once I find the correct settings. But for now, you can do a tune. So the radio is, is select, is connected. Now let's just quickly go to the radio setup. So we'll just, we'll now download, just close this for now, WinLink itself. So we'll go to WinLink here, go to download, which is there, and then click where it says user programs. And I did the bottom one here, WinLink Express install, click that, run it. When you run it, you will end up with a program that looks like, see these flags here, check a flags. Double click that, and this is how, this is what we get. So we've got the modem running on the right hand side, all seems to be working fine. To start setting this up, you drop down the section here, VARA HF radio I've selected, and select VARA HF radio. That's what I did. My call sign was put in when I created my WinLink account. So you go to settings here, and then WinLink Express. Look, settings, WinLink Express, and you've got here, you don't have to put in your home location, but everything's here that's on my DMR call sign anyway. Call sign, create a password there. So there's your call sign. Of course, you need a ham radio license. Password, I put in recovery email as m0fxb at outlook.com. And that's it. Oh, yeah, my grid square. So if you want your grid square, just Google my grid square, and you'll, there'll be a program there that gives you your exact grid square. Mine is io81mi. Okay, so that all looks good. Then you click update. That's in there. Then the next thing I did was, before I went into these settings, I did open session. I did get an error saying that something else is running. I'm sharing a folder, but anyway, once you get to this section here, it's now it's it's now talking to your virtual comp, so virtual modem here. Vara signal bandwidth. It's using the 705. It's selected com. 8 and 9600 and it's ready and it says here radio only session the next thing we do is click channel selection okay and you get this window here as you go down if i expand it if it will let me expand these are all apparently good connections and obviously as the color changes they're not so good connections so we'll try and choose one here on i think we'll try and choose one on let's try and choose this top one here da5 udi We'll double click and it will control the radio. Now your radio, when you connect it to your PC, will say USB COM. If it doesn't, then you've, you've done something wrong. And otherwise we've got all the meters showing USB COM. We're going to double click the top one. And what it will now do, it will now start trying to connect to that thing when you select start. So we selected DA5 UDI, got no favorites. And we're going to click start. See that? And it's now pulsing and it's trying to call DA5 UDI. Now, I've literally never done this before. I did a couple of tests earlier. But you can see the radio is pulsing. It's going into TX. I can see my ALC, my SWR, which isn't too great. Now my ALC, if I want to adjust that, I can just stop the session, go to the modem, click sound card, and then we've got this tune window that comes up. We can click tune, 
it's now tuning and look at my ALC they're showing in a diagram here it should be about a third so let's just lower it a bit that look about a third that looks about the same so we can close and then it says failure to connect and we'll start again now I'm not I don't think we're going to connect because we're not running much power here we're only running five watts on a battery so unlikely to connect and once you're connected to their modem it's at that point I think you can start sending emails and that's for a separate video we'll just let that run for a bit I'm not worried about the radio it's not too bad the SW I, I have got a little tuner here that I bought for 40 pound ATU 100 tuner which will tune this down just let that run I don't think you can hear let me just turn the volume up so it's failure to connect let's try so we'll go let's try someone else channel selection we'll try 40 meters I'm gonna have more luck with 40 meters it does change all the frequencies for you if it's working properly channel selection there you are it's see the way it changed it so it's got full radio control there are other settings here so then we'll just click start USB D and we'll click start calling PA3 and it's doing it again 7055 7054 Okay, and what I'm going to do is eventually I'll learn some more and then I'll work out how to actually send emails via this. Uh, but I'm pretty, it sounds to me like once your modems are connected, then you can start sending emails to each other. 7-3, hope you find this interesting. Bye for now, all the best.